The Jackets return to action closer to home after returning from their spring break trips. The softball team got back in the win column after picking up two wins in their doubleheader versus Concordia on Thursday. In game one, the Jackets got on the board first as Kayla Kramer scored on an error by the catcher in the first inning. In the second, Nora Schmitz ripped it deep in the left field, scoring two runs. But the Cobbers would add one run in the third. Then in the top of the sixth inning, Zoe Thompson hit a solo home run into center field. This is her second home run of the season after hitting one on the spring break trip. Jackets win 4-1. to one. Then in game two, the scoring didn't start until the third inning as Tiffany Kirk hit a double, allowing a run to come home. Concordia answered right back in the bottom half of the inning. Then in the fifth, Taylor Kramer reached on an error as Schmidt scored. The Cobbers answered back once again, tying things up at two. Top of the sixth inning, Kayla hit a double through the right side to score a run. Taylor Kramer came to relieve Allison Luma in the circle to get the save. Jackets win 3-2. to two. Team travels to Martin Luther this Saturday for a doubleheader to open UMAC conference play. Early on Friday morning, the baseball team headed to U.S. Bank Stadium for a doubleheader with Augsburg. In game one, the Augies were in control, adding two runs in the fourth, three runs in the fifth. But the Jackets weren't going to get shut out as Isaac Fugier doubled to left. Ryan Castaneda hit a single advance in Fugier to third. And it was Christian Garcia to drive in the run with the single down the right side. The Augies came out on top, though, 5-1. to one. Then in game two, the Jackets offense came alive as they scored four runs in the second and third innings. Fugier went two for four with two run double, stolen base, and a run scored. Sam McNosky went two for three for two runs scored. Matt Tappy pitched his first collegiate complete game, allowing six hits and three earned runs over seven innings. Jackets hold off the Augies eight to three. The team is scheduled to open UMAC conference play this week. Women's tennis competed at UMD on Friday. The Jackets took 17 games from the Division II Bulldogs. UMD wins, though, 9 to nothing. Then on Sunday, they opened the UMAC conference season against Martin Luther. They started off the day sweeping the doubles matches with pairs Maya Calloway and Shelby Hansen. Shanoa Oa and Megan Dulong, Caitlin Syverson and Callie Olson. In singles, Calloway and Dulong did not drop a game to their opponents while Oa, Syverson, Hansen, and Laney Zern also won their singles matches. The Jackets opened the conference season strong, winning nine to nothing. Men's tennis also played against Martin Luther on Sunday. They also started the day strong in doubles. Greg Potts Nagy and Andre Luiz dominated their doubles matches, winning eight to nothing. The two other doubles teams of Keisuke Sato and Michael Janes and Chase Gilbertson and Dominic Hendrickson won their matches as well. In singles, James, Louise, Potts Nagy, Sato, Gilbertson, and Carter Lamont swept the Knights. Jackets extend their winning streak to three with a nine to nothing victory. Up next, both teams travel to Martin Luther on Saturday, then host Concordia on Sunday. In men's hockey news, Artur Turchiev was named All-American second team by the American Hockey Coaches Association becoming the 60th All-American in program history. Several players signed professional contracts, including Dylan Johnson, Chad Lopez, Colton Bates, Levi Cudmore, Troy McTavish, Jordan Martin, and Turchiev. In track and field news, Gage Stankiewicz, Tyler Finger, Kasha Hewlett, Jess Newman were all named UMAC Athletes of the Week last week after some competed at the Emory Spring Break Classic in Atlanta. The team returns to action this Saturday at Hamlin.